into jeopardy to family feud shows for for the first annual super saturday the event for gifted and talented children brings them in touch with a wide variety of subjects they normally would not be able to learn about tv 6s scott doling has our story Super Saturday is sort of like an info mart. The students could shop from a list of 35 topics and pick three they wish to attend. This kitchen chemistry class let the children make chemical solutions that clean the tarnish off of pennies. Or they could go down a few doors and talk with the Fish and Wildlife Service about sea lamprey. Students could even touch the lamprey if they wanted, but most were sort of grossed out by their slimy skin. One of the most popular classes was cartooning. Students got a kick out of what could be done with a simple stroke of the pen. We learned about the different things that you can do with words and um, with emotions and things that you can show and exaggerations. I like to see the reaction on their faces when I draw different cartoons and it's, uh, it's a good way to educate them on cartooning itself. The idea behind Super Saturday is to offer kids a chance to learn a lot about many different things that they normally don't get a chance to learn in the classroom. And that's why we like to bring the community in, because there are so many people in the community who have hobbies or their careers that are interesting. With presentations ranging anywhere from CPR to the Finnish language and over to amateur radio, there was something to catch the attention of any aspiring student. And that's the reason many of them gave up a day of their weekend and went back to school. Something to do on a weekend instead of just sitting around and having nothing to do. It's something to wake up and have some inhibition to do something. I thought it was going to be interesting for like me to do more things on Saturdays, and I usually do. I've met a lot of different people. I've learned a lot, and it's just been fun. Scott Doling, TV6 News, Marquette. Coming up next, meteorologist Dan Lee with the forecast.